Okay, hi guys, Simon here, and we're back with Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars. And at the end of the last video, I said I'd look up some French colonial history, and I did. And if you're interested, just go to Wikipedia and look up the article French Colonial Empire. And, well, basically, the French had quite a large colonial presence in West Africa. In fact, most of Afri West Africa was under French rule up until the end of the Second World War and then wow look at the graphical glitch and then after that things started to fall apart there and there were a number of rebellions and uprisings some of which were suppressed violently and I'm guessing the this game ref refers to some of the atrocities that were committed during that time in any case Let's move on with the game. I don't remember what we're doing right now. It was just some police paperwork, a search warrant. Sure. Sergeant Moo? Uh, yes. Um, what should I talk to him about? Have you heard of a man called Marquet? Yes. He used to be known as the Mole of Momart. I have he's been hospitalized, probably by one of his rivals. Okay. Which hospital was Marquet taken to? The Agenmeyer Clinic, in the Avenue des Hérissons. Okay. Why was Marquet known as the Mole of Montmartre? Because he lived in Montmartre, I suppose. Yeah, but why the Mole? I don't know. Maybe he ruined people's lawns. Okay. I'd like to report an assault. Yes, monsieur? I'm... I'm uh, we've this. done this before. Could you just want their name? No. Um, what can I ask you about? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Alright. See you later, Sergeant. So, I guess we're going to that place that he talked about in the hospital. H hope... Huh, okay. Um, wasn't there... Are we going to the museum as well? Maybe not yet. Let's talk to him. Pardon me. Oui, monsieur? Hmm... Do you know anything about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. The sign on it does it? Yeah. It doesn't mention John D at all. Oh, crap. Most remiss. You don't know anything about the tripod, do you? No, I don't. I never had much of a start in life, you see. I owe a little education again to my... I uncle. thought... He was an optician. But he also doubled as the village school teacher. He taught me the alphabet. Wait, the 19 letters of it. The bottom row of the chart was uh, too small even for him to read, so he left them out. Why don't you start over and enroll for adult education? You know, I never thought of that. Do you see? If I studied art and did all my homework, I could be a professor of history? At your age? Dream on. Wow, what an ass. Okay, so I thought that was a repeat of the last conversation, but apparently there was something new in that. I'm sorry if I clicked too fast. You can go back and pause the video. I might do that at the end. Just go back and see what they actually said. Uh, let's ask about... Do you know anything about medieval manuscripts? Not me, monsieur. I am no scholar. Though people often mistake me for one. It is the uniform, I guess. They see the clothes. They are impressed. And they ask you to park their cars? They ask me to park the... No, no, no. They assume. I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas you know next to nothing about history. Of course not. All I am saying is, I am no scholar. Not like Monsieur Lobino. Okay, so that was a repeat of something we've heard before. Can you give me any further information about the tripod? Certainly, Monsieur. It's infamous. That tripod, that belonged to John D. What? What's the importance of John D's tripod? D was the most famous escapologist of the 16th century, the Udini of his time. Don't you mean alchemist? Escapologists use ropes, chains, and handcuffs, not tripods. But whatever he was, that is the tripod he used in his experiments. What kind of experiments did John D perform with his tripod? <laughs> the usual. Didn't you study chemistry at school? Yeah, but we skipped over thaumatology. Can I take a closer look at the tripod? What? Get it out of the case? Ah, uh, no! That tripod 
is protected by a sophisticated surveillance system. How sophisticated? A painfully loud alarm bell. Okay. How is the alarm bell triggered? By the slightest pressure on or movement of any part of the case wherein that tripod is situated. It strikes me that to call your alarm system sophisticated is, well, stretching the truth a little. It has never failed yet. The sophistication is in its simplicity. Okay, so... If we touch the glass box, the alarm goes off. I found this gem at a medieval site in Ireland. That means nothing to me, monsieur. How did you manage to get this job? I had the right qualifications. A military man, squeaky shoes, and an irrational hatred of children. Right. Thanks for your help. So, are we going to steal this tripod or not? What happens if I open the window? Open the window. Open. Stop shrugging your shoulders and open the window. Okay. What if I push the totem pole? Watch out! You. Yeah, that was the idea. Watch out! Watch out! What? Okay. I don't think I should be doing this yet. Maybe I should go find... This is ridiculous. I could be here for hours. So what? Should I... rig the totem pole... to fall over? And then I'll hide in the mummy, maybe. Okay, then let's let's leave this for later. Uh, what's going on? Hospital. Hmm. The only thing we can oh, we can click on the door and the ambulance. Um. There was no sign of the crew of the ambulance. I felt a little guilty as I tried the door. Like I was about to rob a grave. I gripped the handle with an involuntary tremble in my hand and pulled. The door was locked. Okay. Sure. Let's go in. Uh, we have doctor, we have hallway, we have someone else we have hallway this is a very fancy hospital look at that look at that the glass there the archer see i haven't done very many and uh, if you don't mind me talking about minecraft in this game i haven't done very many vaulted ceilings in minecraft so far well in fact i haven't built very many things underground and I haven't built very many things with ceilings, to be honest. Hmm. Huh. Let me keep that in mind. Okay, let's get back to this game. The guy seemed to be practicing his air of authority. Today, he was working on his withering stare. I mean, like this, like a glass front that's, you know, that's got a barrel vault here, and then there's these cross vaults. I mean, you can build something like this in Minecraft, I think, quite easily. It would have to be big enough to, you know, approximate the arch with, um, squares, but now that you can put stairs and half blocks upside down, that might be easier to get the details right. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Really? If you wish to make an appointment, see the receptionist. Actually, I just wanted to waste your time. I'm looking for a guy named Jacques Marquet. In which department does he work? He doesn't. He's a patient. I see. You do realize there are strict policies regarding visiting hours, don't you? This is important. I have to talk to Marquet urgently. We make no exceptions to the rules. It's a matter of life and death. 
The well-oiled running of this hospital is a matter of life and death. That's why we have rules. Well, how about I give you my soggy tissue? What do you make of this tissue, sir? If I were you, I'd have this sample analyzed. Oh, actually, can you analyze the snot? Do you recognize this red nose, sir? No, I do not. This is a hospital, not a circus ring. We minister to the sick in body, not the sick in mind. I think I ought to warn you that Marquet is not what he seems. Explain yourself. He's in league with a bunch of guys <laughs> who want to take over the world. Nonsense. Besides, Marquez's employers have paid in advance for one of our most exclusive private rooms. Exactly. He's a Templar. Could you tell me who Marquez's employers are? Certainly not. Are they the Knight Templar? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, sir. I do not. Okay, uh, what else? Does this white powder mean anything <laughs> to you? No, sir. I do not pretend to know the pharmacist's job. Have you ever heard of the Club Alamut? No, sir. I have not. Does the name Thomas Merlin mean anything to you? No, it does not. Look at this, Doc. It's a genuine medieval... Why would you show that to people? Yes, so I see. Remarkable. I have to take this gem to Marquet. He might be able to explain its significance. My dear chap, Marquet has other things on his mind right now. Like what? His catheter, for one. Hmm. May I have the honor <laughs> of taking you by the hand? You may not. Damn I it. don't encourage physical contact between my staff. Damn it. Alright, bye. Your help. Hello. Excuse me. Yes, sir? Is this the Hagenmeyer Clinic? That's correct. I thought I was in a garden center. <laughs> oh, the plants. <laughs> they were my idea. A little greenery to evoke the spirit of nature. How may I help you? That hair does not look like that hair. I mean, the shape of it's the same, but that looks fuzzy. Anyway. I'm here to see Jacques Marquet. Oh, yes. Are you related to our client, sir? Huh. Well, technically no. No, I'm conducting a private investigation. Then I can't help you. Damn my honesty. Can I sh Oh, hi. Would you like to see my soggy tissue? Can you think of any use for this greasy tissue? I guess you could use it to baste a roast turkey. Wait. What? Well, I can't tell if that was serious or some sort of innuendo. Because it is a soggy tissue. Baste a roast turkey. Okay, well, well, you can think about that for a moment. What does this false nose remind you of? Oh, it's a clown's nose. Have you seen this man here at the clinic? No, sir. And I never forget a face. I might write that down, basting a rose tail. I might look that up to see if it actually means anything. Have you heard of the Club Alamut? No. It sounds romantic, doesn't it? Um... Look at this ID pass. So you're Merlin. Marquet's been asking for you. For me? Yes. He was shouting your name when they brought him in here. Now, let me see. Okay, that was... He was on Ward B12, as I recall. Oh, he's being transferred see the to... Head. Oh, dear. He's on Ward J2. That's... Nurse Grendel's ward. I can't believe we just tricked our way into the hospital. Uh, let's talk about clowns. Has Marquet been visited by a man in a clown <laughs> costume? Oh, no. You haven't seen a man in disguise? Well, there's Theodore the Bear. He comes every Thursday to entertain the children. 
gasp. Personally, I think he scares them half to death in that crummy old bear suit. If I was stuck on my back with tubes in every orifice, he's the last person I'd want to see. Your hospital allows bears with the children. Do you know about bears? Like, you know, on the internet, if you look up bears and children. Has Marquet had a visit from a pair of gangsters? I should hope not. Can you describe them? A thin guy who looks like a weasel and his friend, the gorilla. Sounds as if they escaped from a zoo. Like, th there's so many times when I can't tell whether this game is making a joke or not. It's either a coincidence or it's just really subtle humor, which I'm I'm really impressed by. But I don't know if I should be impressed or not. Cause you remember at the beginning of the game there was that puzzle where there was the coded message, and I was saying how the last letter you can't figure out, and that was quite clever. <laughs> 